Can I have a start with your name so I can make sure I get the sound? Kylie Moss. Oh, yeah. I was back there today. Let's talk a little bit about the day. Uh, what it feels like to be home. Of course, and have everyone show up here to see you. Yeah, it's an incredible, uh, it's been an incredible past uh, 30 minutes or so, but um, yeah, it's super inspiring and humbling to be here and, and see all these little kids. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting them and taking pictures of them and stuff. Uh, in terms of, of the day today, um, obviously you're making a stop here. What's your what's your summer been like? And obviously since then, yeah, um, it's been pretty crazy. I was, I mean, it wasn't too long ago that I raced, and then I went on vacation for five or so days, um, took a bit of time in Croatia and just relaxed, and then I came home. Um, have been home for like a week or so, and just been with my family and friends. And, uh, it's been really nice to have some downtime. When you're, I mean, a few years ago, you're two hundredth in the world. What's that like as an athlete, that increment? Is it an incremental journey? Do you kind of look, you know, I want to get to this stage, and that's it? You're just kind of competing with yourself. You're not thinking, I imagine, I'm going to be number one in the world in three years. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a bit of both. Uh, it's where you're always like trying to make that next step and then keep improving. So it's just progress and then keeping, uh, keeping up with training and uh, getting back into the water after each race and working on different things to, to try and be the best that you can. Is it, uh, it's almost. I mean, you're not looking to be an inspiration to others, I imagine. As you, but I mean, it's a great story from that sense that you know someone can look at that and say, "Here's someone who wasn't even on the radar three years ago, yeah. and now you're number one in the world." Yeah, definitely. And I think that's something that I've, um, I guess, I think about a lot because I wasn't really um, like a on the radar athlete. Like uh, I kind of came from nowhere and, and improved pretty quickly. So. Um, I think it, that gives a lot of people hope and just inspiration that like, you know, just, you don't have to be going to certain meets and doing, you know, certain times at certain ages. Like, you can, if you set a goal and you have a dream and you keep working hard, that you can accomplish anything. When did you, in your mind, start to realize, hey, I can do this, I, I'm as good as the rest of them? Yeah, um, I think when I made the Olympic team, I, I, that was kind of like an eye-opening experience for me and obviously a dream to, um, to make that Olympic team and then uh, I was just like wow you know I made the team like let's see what I can do keep working hard and um, I really love training and I love racing so um, that makes it more fun um, yeah. <laughs> well, are you taking a break old or were you going to start training here um, I don't know exactly but I think I was like three or four when I started swimming lessons um, here and then I think maybe for a few years I did LaSalle Wizards here I started competitive when I was 10, so all before that I was here. <laughs> Are you taking a break from training? Are you taking the summer off? Or when does that start again? Yeah, so I haven't gotten the pool since I last raced in Budapest. Um, so I've had a bit of time. It'll be in total about a month off. Which um, is good. And good mentally and physically. Let like your body rest and recover. And I'll get back in probably in the next two weeks. When you're in the pool and you set a world record, does it feel fast do you, or do you not know until you look at the clock? Um, I think that's the crazy thing about swimming, you never really know and I find often you know, sometimes you feel like you're going really fast and it wasn't necessarily a fast time and vice versa so um, something that I always keep in mind when I'm racing is just to always like, try my best and never really um, do less than that because um, you never know when, when you're going to go. So. Is it more kind of competing with yourself, just trying to better yourself every day? Is that the, the main goal? Yeah, and uh, I think I mean having competitors and racing with kind of the same people from the Olympics on to the small championships, um, you get familiar with people that you're racing and um, you know you're able to race them, so it's awesome. Do you find coming back home um, is a little different maybe? Uh, than walking around going for dinner maybe with friends, so suddenly is there maybe the interactions with strangers up a bit? Um, honestly, I, I haven't left my house too much yet this past week, so um, it's been fun. But I mean, I think that's awesome to be able to come home and have people recognize you, and um, especially if you're someone that a younger kid that looks up to you or something. Like I remember when I was um, a younger swimmer, I really looked up to the older um, swimming Canada athletes and um, Canadian Olympians. So that was something that I always like treasured getting getting to see them at, at different higher level meets and uh, taking pictures of them and stuff. So I really want to be that person for a younger kids. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thanks for taking the time. No problem. Thank you. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you.